What? You want to do a giveaway for this disc on your chin? Just cut it in half next time. What even? Welcome back. It's the back nine. If you watched yesterday, you already know. But we're out of a course that I designed called Super Badlands. Well, I didn't design the course. I designed a layout at the course. And it's getting really tested today. We got Cordon. What's up? Eagle McMahon. And Cole is being very evil to me. <laughs> uh, right now, we got some interesting scoring. I'm five up. Eagle is? Three up. Cole? One under. One under. I think under par is good here. We got nine more holes, hole 18 being the craziest hole. Uh, and we're just going to get started with this par four, which is kind of a tweener between a four and a five. but. I think with them here, it's definitely a four. Let's do it. All right, you want to do the whole intro, Cole? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. Welcome to the Badonkadonk Disc Golf Channel <laughs> on for the back nine here at the Super Badlands layout designed by yours truly. We're here at a par four. I'll let you explain this hole. So you got it. It's 848 feet. Yeah. Where's the OB? You can, you can tell them. You let them know. OB is on both sides of the path, so you gotta land on the path. <laughs> I don't know. What no, that. so we're playing. You, can, you guys see the trees out there? If you walk over here, you'll see the basket. It's the basket of pool two, blue. It's 848 feet. Landing zones are either at that first blue basket that you can see there, or getting over the reeds and having an easier up shot in. Probably a couple 430 foot shots to really feel good about it. Whoa! Sorry. It's all right. That's how I take out the competition. <laughs> going on that white basket over there. Oh, you're going for, whoa. I think you almost did skip through the creek. Down so by far. like normal holes too <laughs> deep pad. <laughs> so far. At least you know you got a shot from there. I always land in those. In front of the reed, so I'm like. I will say, I don't hate this par three to that one blue basket right there. You know, you're in big trouble if you hang it too far right. But it's a long, a long soaring hyzer, which when people design courses sometimes can get forgotten about because it's like we don't want easy hyzers. But a hyzer this far, it's a technical hyzer. It is a technical hyzer, which I think are, is is okay, and it makes the course cool, and it makes it for a little more fun shots. But this is a little more technical of a hyzer. That's interesting. I'll keep that in mind. Go ahead. Oh, oh I like technical. the downslope too. The downslope makes it good. Yes, for sure. And then you're skipping away. I'll try it as well. And I think it's like 440 to it. Something, so. It's pretty long. Oh my gosh. You, you barely threw that. Is that delirium? That's delirium. How it feels coming out of your hand is unlike any other disc I've thrown. Like it surprises you. You're like, whoa. Right. Well, just it's like a different type of speed out of your hand that just like. You can feel like the thrust behind it. You're right. It goes to a different dimension. Have we given up? playing for anything. I know we didn't really ever think about it and we're bad at thinking about it. And now Cole's got the advantage. So if you think about something, you can think about it. I'm not, I'm not trying to take anything from these guys. Uh -uh. What a guy. I don't like playing. I like playing for stuff to keep myself focused, mm. at least keeping score to keep myself focused. But I'm not, I'm not super like on top of putting stuff on it. I feel like tough. Like when you're learning a way out too, like, 100%. right. Like maybe like a final day of practice round before a tournament where you're trying to like really exactly. focus in. Yeah. But when you're just trying to throw far, yeah, I like keeping score for my own sake, not really to beat anybody else. Just keep myself focused. It's all you. It's me? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll go. Very um, behind there. I'm gonna go with a hyper cam. Try to turn this one in a little bit. This is really sloshy footing. Hold over. Yeah. It's putting at least. Tough putting for that, but yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll take a putt. I like this one because you got basically a hyzer and then you got something that you got to finish left or right. Right. If you want the birdie. I think I'm definitely, that, that shot's perfect to elevation. Right <laughs> elevation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, why did it hit that? Oh, that was going to be so good. Hey, I really like that on my hand. Bummer. When you're short, you got to like, you got you to read this, the small little reads. Oh, yeah, the little reads. Did you literally throw it to the tee pad? I did. <laughs> Honestly, that's a great spot. It's not a great spot. Oh, are you in front of it? Oh, yeah. Maybe not that. That's so far, though. Only if it flipped. It would be even further. And in a better spot. Right, I'm not going to hurt myself. Oh, yeah. 
That's disgusting. That's so good. We're so far, you don't even have to throw it hard. Do you even feel like you throw hard? Ever? Yeah, definitely. People, I say, people say, like, it doesn't even look like you threw it. Yeah, I feel like I threw it hard. Yeah. That one actually wasn't that hard. Yeah. But it comes down to just using your levers, timing, and 17 years of playing. <laughs> yep. I like to airball most of the time. This is a pretty fast disc to throw in that shot. This is a pretty fast like disc. <laughs> it's a pretty cool one too. What is it? It's something. Oh, it's something? It's, it's a disc. It's, you know. That's exciting. Yeah. Alright, this is the one hole that I think is could be improved. We are going to Six's basket, the one that we played that par 5 to that you guys almost eagled. Kind of in that tree cluster. It's basically just a, like a short stall hyzer. The only OB is the water short. That's gonna be way long. Get a little better. I think I hit the stuff I was in last time. Ooh. Oh, nice. Let's go get our butts today so far. Say that. Why would you not say that? Have you looked because, at the scores? Yeah. <laughs> then why would you not say that? Because it's never over till it's over. Exactly. And uh, if if Gannon can make up eight in nine holes last weekend, then any of you guys can make up how like four or five in the last eight holes. So seven holes. Seven holes. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, definitely. Never over till it's over. I want for you. Sound a little more I can confident. Feel the intensity. <laughs> regrets that I have in my early touring events, it's not like sticking it out once mm. I take a bogey. Yeah. Because on tour it always feels impossible to climb back. I'm sure you can definitely relate to this. <laughs> and it's like as soon as by by the end of the tournament you're just like, why didn't I literally just par out? I'd be ten places better. So yeah, yeah you just gotta still do that. Still yeah exactly. We all yeah it's it's so hard to just mentally overcome that. At the end of the day, your 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 Given up bogey could have costed you 200 bucks at the end of the day. It's like, it could be a difference. Oh, where are we going? We are going to Blue Basket down there. Then we play two across the road there. Oh, yeah. Anything this side of the path is OB. Oh, no, no. You're trying, you have to get across. So you have to get across the path. Okay. Yeah. It's only like 650. Okay. But you got to clear, I think, I think it's like 360 ish. Three. Nice. Good job. That's Thank you. I was not trying to go to the right of that tree, but <laughs> it'll work. That's the perfect position. How does it feel that you're probably gonna have the course record after today? You know, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. I think I'm gonna make it a series of just like seeing who I can bring out here and play yeah. and see who gets the best record. There you go. I'll have to beat your record at some point. Well, now my goal is just set the bar high. Please do. He's gonna leave us delirious with this trap. Should have shut up. Oh, oh my gosh. That is so awesome. Oh, two. You know, like, I, I hadn't even... Four half speeds are no joke. <laughs> so, wait, is that long grass to OB? I didn't think to say it, but yes. <laughs> you're safe. You, you hit back in, and you're definitely going to be safe no matter what. Whoa. But that's crazy. I think that's like 460, like, straight uphill. <laughs> what in the world just happened? Why am I here? Why am I not just a cameraman? This one. Yeah, I'll trade you. I kind of want. I want to set that for it. That was really good. Oh, okay. Is how far you think? Like 60 in front of us and up the hill? Yeah, not impressive at all. No. No. I'm. I always come out of these with more arrogance whenever I play with Eagle. Yeah. I'm just like I'm way less humble. Yeah. You know about my abilities. Hundred yeah. percent. He makes you feel a lot better about yourself. Exactly. Yeah. You get yeah. it. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. Wow, this is so short. Oh, it's so fluff. Wow. Sit. Do you think you could reach it? I 
Where the big Annie? Oh, T. What is wrong with you? Right here. <laughs> All right. That's definitely legal. I'm a gymnast. I actually did gymnastics till I was nine, so this is perfect. Really helps this moment. No. So. Nice. All right, hole 13. Here we're playing from this pad to the basket that's over the sidewalk. Everything short of the sidewalk is out of bounds. So I think it's 448 is what it ranged to. That's nice and close. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, come on. It's over. It's over. Woo! Right. That'll work. Nice. Nice tasty. Oh! <laughs> you got the pack. Oh! <laughs> My camera overheated and then Eagle just threw it on the roof. At least you're 12 feet tall, you can probably just grab it. I'm gonna peep a Tour Series pipeline. Oh, you can flip more than that. Here, I'll show you, I'll show you. Oh, another one. Dang. Clean. Got a chance. Woo! Cordell and Sign Tour Series pipeline. Hey! My big signing this year. It's like so close. Do I need to get on someone's shoulders and just... Is it hot? <laughs> Wait. Heck yeah. It's pretty hot. Well, oh, you're pretty close to the disc up here with this. Huh? Thank you, Splash. Thank you, Bodanza. Whoa. Is there a gash? Oh. Actually, yes. I see it. That's nuts. Oh, no. Dude, you... Here. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Show the camera. That is <laughs> oof. You got some duct tape? She just left it up there. <laughs> All right. I guess this is the moment in the video where I ask people to send me what thrills they have because my goodness. Only send them cheap thrills though. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? You want to do a giveaway for this disc on your chair? We can give it away. We can give it away because this is. Unfortunately, Here, unusable now. Subscribe to my channel. Give me the forty thousand, and we'll give it away. We'll give forty thousand. Forty thousand. We'll give it away. Oh my gosh! It's called using your friends for subscribers. Ever heard of it? How strong are my knees? This is an uncomfortable position. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. Uh, after a forty-minute intermission, <laughs> I have about as long as you took to set up that putt on the last hole. Okay. Wow. Thanks. Yeah. Anytime. Little step foot. Drop. Oh, just, wow. This is very disappointing. <laughs> That's something. Is this still legal? I think it's technically like normal wear and tear. That's hot. All right, that was the, the worst walk of the thing. We gotta go all the way up the hill. Here, see how it flies still. Throw it up to the tee pit. Definitely a lot straighter, but still pretty overstable. Wow. That's nuts. I just probably didn't like stick to whatever it hit. Make those anymore? The reel is out of production, but I'm saying it here on the Bedanza Distolf channel. Distolf, let's go. Distolf. MVP, let's bring the thrill back. It's such a good disc. It's like a more overstable photon. Well, it's not for everybody. The people who throw it, they love it. And I do love it. I don't love what just happened, but <laughs> it was the building's fault, not the thrill. This one, we're going down to that blue basket underneath the tree. It's a par three. It ranges at about 500 feet, maybe 505, and it's an island. Then you go to the drop zone, which is 17 normals tee pad from anywhere. It has to land safe anywhere. All right, I'm gonna do a little score update. We're on hole 14, we got five holes to play. Eagle's at even, I'm at two under, and you're at four over. Dang. Oh, I, I think shot. you should throw the thrill. I should throw the thrill. Wow, that's unreal. <laughs> Just cut it in half next time. <laughs> what even? Stupid. 
Oh, no. That's so good. Oh! What? How'd that not go in? Oh my god! Oh, I like that a lot. Yep. You throwing it? I'll throw it, yeah. I'll see it. <laughs> What in the world? Ooh, that might be the two-stroke swing right there. I think it is. 500 foot glitch shot. Get there. Ooh. See how this thrill flies for me. Good news. How many likes does this video need to get for you to bag it? For me to bag it? <laughs> <laughs> for bag it for what? A whole year. <laughs> Give me 50,000 subscribers in two weeks. Let's get him to 50,000 subscribers. I will, I'll do it. He'll bag it, and you gotta throw it. I will, I'll throw it. I'll throw it once around. No, that's too much. <laughs> I'll throw it. Oh, please ace it. It's, it's such short. a good disc, it's so, so sad. That's a good disc. I'll do it. 40, if you guys get to 40,000 whenever, it'll be given away. But if within two weeks from when this video is uploaded, we get to 50,000. Then I'll do it. Subscribe right now. Problem is, there's 90 something thousand returning viewers every month, so uh -huh. there is very much the possibility that that. Let happens. me just ask you: If you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, like, why? Why? Just like if you're watching Bodanza, just give him the sub. It sounds like it's more selfish for you now that you're asking. You never asked like this before until this moment. It's for you. <laughs> Does it? It doesn't I'm hurt the, you. I'm the I'm the hurt one. I have one of my favorite discs with a big gash out of it. Send you me might, thrills, guys. You might not I got, I got money. I'll, I'll, I'll pay for the thrills. <laughs> that's that's going to be the whole, that's going to be the intro. Eagle just say, I got money. That's it. <laughs> intro right there. I'm a little scared that that's actually going to happen. But then I get to I get to bag a piece of history, though. At that I mean, point. how many discs do you usually bag? Recently, like 11. I've been bagging oh, really few. Really I, have, I have a lot of room. The problem is I have to throw it then. <laughs> you can do tap-ins with it. Be your Ooh. It'll be your tap-in disc. That's that. That actually will work. That will actually work. And then at the end of the year, I'll give it away. That sucks. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Look what happened with this one. Are you a B two? Jeez. No, it's the island hole drop zone. It is possible, but you should get punished. I mean, tell me you want more drop zones from 30 feet on the pro tour versus something like that, right? Dude, I want a drop zone from right here. It makes. Gotta give him a chance. The committee can be persuaded by many different things. Whoever whoever wins, the loser pays for their ice cream. So that'd be your paying for mine or you Hey, there's still four holes left, baby. <laughs> the middle guy just decides if he doesn't want ice cream. Hey, we can do that. Mando to the right of the blue basket, hole one. Oh my gosh. That's pretty far. Yep. What in the world? <laughs> Looks great as well. Rip. Yeah, that torrent's so beefy at this at this elevation. Turn. Oh, why is he not turning? Dig. There are definitely shots that for them. <laughs> They seem challenged by them, but they're more routine. Whereas for me, it's like, I feel a really good shot, which I like for something for me to train to get to that level. Because now that I'm seeing them play it, and hopefully I have other Pro Tour players come and play it, you're really able to see, one, the difference in the different shot shapes, and then also ways that I need to work on it. Definitely seem, I mean, I'm interested to hear their opinions after these next three holes and we're finalizing. Watching them play this makes me wanna continue working at playing this course, because I think it's probably the best test that I have locally for like pro tour style disc golf, especially the longer holes. There's not a lot of like wooded stuff, which I'd like love to have and continue to get. It also just throws so much farther than me, it's crazy. I know it's like Eagle and Cole. It's a different level, it's still, it's like ridiculous. That shot, that drive is so far. I can't believe you outdrove me by that much. It's unbelievable how far that is. <laughs> I'd like it to the white basket, honestly, because then you're actually like... Right, two full shots? Around some stuff. Mando's like, like Portland Open for the example. Mm -hmm. Just like Mando's way down the fairway, purely just to shape a line. Absolutely. 
Yeah. yeah for sure. I agree also. The force one way or the other. Because there's, there's a lot of school of thought. Like why golf doesn't have mandos. Yeah. But I I'm in favor of mandos, generally speaking. Oh my gosh. Bruh, I landed on my dicks. Wow, what a putt. Alright. Three more to go. We're going up the hill. Par five. It's like 1,050 feet. It'll be um, on the path and to the left, I mean. So you're only safe basically into that landing zone where the blue basket is. Over the hill is when that whole area becomes safe. But that tree, that's way up there, it's Mando left of that tree. Or sorry, sorry, not Mando left of the tree. Mando left of the T sign of that uh, T pad. That's way down there. So you have to play the left of it to the blue basket that's at the top of the hill. Oh, so like way, way, way yeah. over. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Dang it. I'm not, yes, I'm not. let's go. We got Eagle on one. <laughs> Hopefully the camera doesn't overheat it, overheat it for eagle shot. Hopefully coal is uh, cool enough to not overheat it, you know? Yeah, I'm ice cold right now. Ice cold, yeah. Cut to coal saying it's never over till it's over. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. Black ace, come on. Bonus points for black ace. Black ace. Oh, oh ooh, shot. ooh, I think that's safe. That might be OP. <laughs> yeah, that's got a chance. Yeah, I built a lot of these holes to be like 440 foot places on. Cause it's like down the hill and like, I think range of the basket's like 430, 440. Like that's a distance that you guys throw a lot on tour to like place on like longer holes, so. Keep on dreaming, dude. I keep on dreaming. Yeah, you got that disc, you gotta believe in yourself. Wait. What? Where'd you go? Straight. Straight it's left of the T sign. You got to it that way? Yeah, I said left like a bunch, right, Cole? I, I said I never said right, did I? I thought we said left like five times. Yeah, I thought we did too. <laughs> oh, no. Stupid pain. Oh my god. You're really safe, bro. So far. When you're talking about being scared of Mandos, is that what you meant? That was definitely being scared of Mandos. <laughs> He has to go left of this T sign. Let's see what the bird will do. This is where I want him mic'd up. I need to figure out how to do three mics pretty easily. It's a glitch. <laughs> Where's the wind? Possible. Hazard was incorporated more in disc golf. It's pretty fun. I won't go rule. Yeah. This hole's impossible. We have this and then 1150 foot par five uphill. What'd you get? I got a, a four. Four? What'd you 30. get? This is a pipeline shot all day. There's a lot of room out there left, so you might be safe out there left with a putt. Yeah, it's gotta be. I'm gonna throw the pipeline. Oh, I think the reactor would be good. Now that we're throwing back towards the water. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, that's come on. Hey, That's really good. Nice shot. It's that Cordon pipeline, baby. Yes, sir. Piping some lines out there. You're just giving Cole ice cream. Oh! That might actually, that might actually have snuck safe somehow. Yeah. Try an aftershock. I'm hitting everything I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try a pipeline. Yeah, Eagle, you hit that on the wrong angle, too. That's the shot, dude. Those are so good. Dude. <laughs> Unless you can just throw a matrix like that. That's which, a gorgeous dude. It does have that slow seed stability. So, um, I'm thinking for my ice cream order. Yeah. Oh, Probably. you're just getting a McDonald's cone if they have a machine working. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not a McDonald's cone guy. Well, too bad, I'm paying. We're going. Wait, maybe not, maybe there's two holes left, maybe not. I didn't know ice cream at McDonald's <laughs> ice cream cone. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Mint chocolate chip. Mm, good call. Or 
I'm definitely a coffee ice cream guy. Ooh. It's pretty good. Here, if Cole throws them, they land there. If I throw them, they go a little farther. It's just kind of how it works. Is this hazard? Yeah, you're in hazard. Yeah, you would have been safe too. Dang. The Mad Lab line would have worked. Nice. Oh, hold the anhydrous. No. Okay, just roll. What is putting? Dude, I'm trying to. Do you really want me to have some ice cream? I'll tell you what, if you if you guys both birdie, actually, I'm just gonna talk to Eagle because Cole's getting ice cream no matter what. Eagle, if you birdie this next hole, I'll buy, I'll pay for your ice cream too. That's not fair. I'd be a lot. I'm already paying for it. What do you? I'll give you a double scoop. Whatever. Double scoop. If you birdie, I'll give you a double scoop. I'd say I'd be a lot closer to ice cream if I knew right from left. That's true. Or left from right. <laughs> Whatever it is. I feel like we weren't even trying to trick you on that one. And I threw a good shot too for what I was trying to do. Yep. The shot is the uh, pierce de resistance of this course. Is it a par three to that bat blue basket up there? It's par five. Oh my gosh, another one. OB, right, and, uh, or sidewalk and right. Mm -hmm. And got to clear both these waters. It's like 400 to clear all the water. Okay. It's like 500 to get into a really good landing zone past that tree. And we're playing to a basket which is inside of the sidewalk up at the top. It's I the, see it. It's the white basket, not the blue basket. So if you're seeing the blue, it's inside the OB line up there. It's hole three. Like that small landing zone, that's about 415, just to the left of the sidewalk. Yeah. Or you can go 500 and get over that tree. All right. Oh, so, so it's path and left? Path path and right is OB. Is that like tree that's in the middle there? If you can get somewhere with a run up around it, mm -hmm. you could definitely bird it as hole. That's sick. Nice shot, dude. Nice. Thank you. Turn. Keep turning. Keep turning. Definitely cross. No, you're safe. That's safe over there? Yep. Okay. It's water, water left. So like, but it's scrambly over there. Poor elevation. Oh my gosh. You can just like hear his foot go into the ground and then yeah. plant that. That's, that's sick. That is incredible. Seems like I might be paying for some ice cream and maybe a double scoop depending on how, how much Cole likes his Anheuser lie. Nasty over here, dude. The good news is you're safe and you got that nice little Anheuser scramble if you want it. For the double scoop. Oh my. Never seen anyone play over there for sure. You're on a whole twos basket. That was so far. I mean, you'll have a look in from there. It's going to be tough, but you'll have a look in. Jeez. Yeah, easiest birdie ever. Wow. What's wrong with you? That's awesome. It could be three. Of them. You think so? I got it. Well, if you got the flex, yeah. Abnormally perfect drives. I mean, it's uphill 1,100 and something feet, so that'd be ridiculous. I get a drive here. You could. Yours isn't even flex. Oh gosh. It's doable. I don't want to hear that. It's doable. <laughs> You're so bad. It's not even funny how bad you are. And you got levels to go too. That's scary, bro. I'm excited. I asked Cole earlier if he was scared of you and he lied to me. He said he, he like did one of these. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can get a wild coal way over here. He's got a chance. We got an eagle turning. Nice up. How much do you want the double scoop? Um, pretty badly, honestly. Oh my gosh. Operation double scoop complete, baby! Yeah! More sugar! <laughs> you might be getting halo top with that putt. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, is that putt triple worthy scoop? That's what I thought. It's triple scoop worthy, sorry. A little hyped up right now. Nice. Pull it two under, eagle one over, and yeah, six over. So that was not a bad. birdie, that last one. Yeah. Two under is course record. You throw a lot of really good uphill and downhill shots. So. Glad we played it. I think it's going to help prime us to get back out on tour. Yep. It's definitely the hardest I've thrown. Yeah, I like that there's a lot of holes where I'm trying to like throw smooth angles, 
instead of just trying to rip a hyzer or there like a lot of those car fives you're having to flex a distance driver a little bit and stay on the right side of the ob lines so so i'm you're just gonna make me owe you ice cream forever the middle guy gets no ice cream yeah i said if you birdie that you got ice cream well, buy yourself ice cream, okay? And since you're not coming, any final thoughts? It was solid. I'd say my one qualm was that uh, Mando on whatever hole it was, like 15 <laughs> or 16. My one qualm is listening, be, maybe? It should be the tree. Much more definitive, much more aesthetic. All right, and the committee has decided, the committee decided that that's valid. Cole's drop zone decision is valid. Real quick, I'm about to ask Cole, what do you give me as a rating as a course designer? B plus. B plus? I'll take it. About to be double scooped up, boy. Oh, double scoop, baby. Let's get it. Spotarooski's game style, dude. I'm excited. It's really just gonna come down to the putting for me. It's really where it's all been. What are your final thoughts on the course? I really like it, like you said, as a training course. A lot of walking, yeah, but a lot of really fun shots. You have to play with the angles a lot. And uh, part of the course, even if it is hard, is being fun as well. I think there could be some more par threes incorporated, just like longer par threes with less OB and just give you a little more room for error. There's not a whole lot of negative things you can say about it just because like every hole you could ever think of is on that course. You could probably even throw a shorty in there, like simply just playing from one side of the water to the other side of the water. I don't know. Yeah, for a training course, it's money. What would you rate me as a course designer? Eagle said B plus. A B plus. That's a pretty good rating. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'd put you, if not a B plus, it'd be a B. But I'll put you at a B plus. I think, that's a, I think that's a good number for it. Appreciate it. Let's do it. Bye.